everybody, welcome to a new video. This is me, Marines. Let's start. Today we have a new topic. Uh, so today will be a tiny review, a quick lesson. Okay. This one is a review. We are talking about uh, about nouns. Okay. So for that we have the title right here. It says noun. Definite, definite, unique, and generic meaning. If you need more information, you can go to your summit book. Summit book number two. Remember that you are to level five. And this one is the homework number four. This is Miss Marinas. Let's start. Okay, so first, what is a noun? We need to know what is a noun before we start, okay? Because if you don't don't know what is a noun I cannot explain to you the rest of the of the ways that you can use it so now a noun is a person place animal thing or idea you have right here some pictures and some examples about it if we are talking about person we can I can tell you that a noun using a person can be a man any name like an a girl or a boy Steve that is another name child grandma or grandpa if we are talking about place it could be a country like paris a city like guatemala city school home asia space kitchen animal if we are talking about animals i have some examples right here like dog cat wheel lion bee bull lizard or think anything that you know or you can think so like book, pencil, apple, flower, etc, etc, right? Okay, definite and indefinite noun. Right here we have the meaning and the way that you can use it. I divided it in two, okay, because it's important to know about the articles. Let's talk about a and n. It's uh, indefinite articles used to describe one or number of, of things. The indefinite article describes things in general. The difference between the or the is the is a definite article used to describe one or a number of things. The definite article describes specific things. Indefinite noun. Let me explain you about the indefinite noun. Um, let's talk about nouns in definite and indefinite noun in a singular or plural uh, way. For those of you who don't know what I am talking about, I um, can tell you the difference between indefinite nouns and definite nouns. Let's talk about indefinite nouns. I have right here one meaning that says, does not refer to any specific person, thing or animal. Example, an apple, a dog, a British an organization. For example, the first, the first thing that I write right here, an apple. If I told you an apple, you don't know what kind of apple I'm talking about. Maybe a tiny apple or a big apple or maybe the um, uh, electronic thing. Or, may, uh, or you don't know the color of the apple. It could be yellow or red or, or, or green, right? The same of dog. You can imagine anything. You can imagine a dog in a different way as a cartoon or a real dog, a big dog or a little dog. A British, remember that British uh, lives in England. So you can think about if it's a woman, if it's a if it's a man or a child or anything like that. An organization, it could be education organization or it could be um, food organization or health organization, so you can imagine. So this one does, does not refer to any specific person, thing or animal. Definite noun refers to any specific person Think or animal. For example, the same example, but if I told you the apple is because I'm showing you or I am specific telling you something about the apple that we are talking about. That dog, it could be your dog, my dog, but it could be a specific 
the British or the organization. We are talking about specific things. Article A, N, or D. Example, I have right here an egg, a dog, the earth. If you see right here, these three examples have an article, right? N, A, or D. But how we can use it? Let me explain you right now. Article A. Before a word that starts with a consonant B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, and Z, you have to use A. Example, a blue beard. Start with blue start with B. A nice man. Nice start with N, so we use A. A wonderful dinner. We use A because wonderful start with W. N. Before a word that start with a word. What is A, E, I, O, or U? An apple. An egg, an insect. But we have some exceptions. The use of A or N depends on the beginning sound. So if you're reading the if you're reading the noun, you have to look, right? If start with a consonant or with ta or if it start with wall, but you have to you have to listen the pronunciation of each one for example i have right here our we see an h right but we hear a wall sound oh our right so what we can do on this um on this example and our right because we hear the o not a hour do you listen to different? An hour. An hour. It's better an hour. Another exception. The use of A or N depends on the beginning sound. Unique. Unique. That is the pronunciation of this word. We see a U, right? But we hear a consonant sound U. A unique change, not an unique change. A unique change, right? The using definite article the. We use the in front of all nouns. It doesn't matter where the noun uh, the noun is singular or plural. If you can count or you on or is uncountable to describe some or something specific or unique. So if it's something specific or unique, you have to use the, the moon, the world, the sun, the atmosphere, the earth, right? So if it's something specific that you're talking about, you have to use the or the, right? Another thing that you have to know about, about the article is that is something that you use the zero article or you don't use the article. Sometimes an article is left out, so you don't use it. This happens when there is only one of someone or something, right? For example, right here, Sally is, he, he is here teacher. Elizabeth II is the queen of the United Kingdom. We only have one Elizabeth II, right? So we don't have to use the because we are talking about something that is unique. El, we don't use a Elizabeth II or an Elizabeth II or the Elizabeth II, right? We only have one, so it's Elizabeth II. Another exception. 
if you are talking about church, hospital, prison, school, university in general, or if you are talking about, for example, love or prison in general, right, or music in general, you don't have to use the article the, a, or n. That is left out when talking about the function of the building, right? He went to the university that last year. We don't, we don't uh, I can tell you, or we don't use, he went to the university last year. Because we are talking about the, um, the function of the university. The university is well situation, right? This one is different, it's different because we are talking about a specific university. I hope you enjoyed this little lesson. Thank you for watching. Bye.